Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Tiger Pit. What have we here? Looks like we have a buck knife in a large box. This is made in the good old USA. Disclaimer, this is not my knife. This is my friend's knife. It is the edge of a legend. Notice something very interesting here on the 75th anniversary of the 119 special the sticker says 1902 to 2017 well that's wrong it's 1942 to 2017 i wonder if that was a typo very interesting let's get into it i showed this at happy hour live with big j kevin boston blade reviews like I said, this is not mine. Seventy fifth, one nineteen special, burgundy kind of burgundy brown leather sheath. It is in cocoa bolo wood. These are no longer available. They were for sale years ago. For I don't know. Let's see. Um, $99.99, so $100 for these, which is a freaking deal, if you ask me. I know you can get the 119 Special Heritage in Cocoa Bolo and D2, and they're about $119. They are currently sold out, I believe. Also, the 117 Brahma is sold out. So, beautiful Dymalux Cocoa Bolo wood handles. You got a brass pommel and guard here. Uh, this is just a satin finish, 420, high carbon, stainless steel. I don't see a Boss Heat Treat stamp on it, which is very interesting. You can see here on the shield, 1942 to 2017. So that's interesting. I'm curious why the sticker says 1902. 75 years. Nicely inlaid, but you can kind of feel it hump up a bit. The buck, 75 at the anvil, made in USA. Very simple knife. You know, it's uh, the only difference between this and a normal 119 is it has the uh, brass pommel and guard and the Coco Bolo wood. And obviously, you know, you get the awesome stamp, the really cool sheath with it. The normal 119s run about 75 bucks. And I'm sure they're great knives. This may be a little heavier. They usually come with aluminum pommel and guard, which does make them lighter. I think it is a six inch blade on this. Mm, they say six inch, but it's six inch to the middle of the guard here. So very close to six inches. A cutting length of about five and a half inches. Oh, overall it would be about ten and a half inches overall. Very beautiful wood. Um, my friend was possibly thinking of selling this. I'd like to pick it up. So I had picked up the 117 Brahma Heritage. Also Coco Bolo. You can kind of see a difference in the wood here. Not too much different. You know, they, all the wood varies. But this has the aluminum pommel and guard and the D2 steel. You can definitely see the size difference here for comparison. This is a heavy duty warrior's knife for sure. I think the 119 was used in Scream. Rambo would be proud of this knife. It's got a really nice fuller. I like to call it a blood groove. I've been corrected by people saying it's a fuller. Well, yeah, no, of course it's a fuller. Also known as a blood groove. Feels really good in the hand. I'm sure the normal one would be fantastic. 
I'd like to pick up the heritage of this, unless of course my friend wants to sell this to me. It probably would be a collector's piece. I can't see myself going out in the wild and beating up this beautiful anniversary knife. Now this I bought as a user, it is a way lighter. You can see the difference in blade stock. You can see the difference in handle thickness. And there's a massive difference in the blade length, obviously. And the weight, I think this is about seven and a half ounces, whereas this is about three and a half ounces. So, cool knife. I just wanted to share it. I don't know, maybe I'll start an open tag called Warrior Wednesday. Warrior, come out to play. Here is the Buck Selker. This is a uh, made in China. I, I believe it is the 863. It's filthy. And um, I believe it's the 420 JC, which I prefer the Boss Heat Treated. But this is a good beater knife. Now you could thrash this and not worry about it. These I think are usually about $80, which honestly I think I would pick up, you know, just a normal 119. But these were on sale. At Midway, I think it was like $50. Comes with a nice Kydex sheath and a fire starter. I'm not reviewing this knife. Just want to do a little warrior size comparison. Let's compare it. Got to be careful with this one. The Sog Seal Pup Elite. It's, this is definitely still smaller, but the handle length looks about the same. Uh, this is a made in Taiwan knife and i think it's os 8 steel or os 10 steel serrations very sharp don't bump your finger on the serrations i have and it just filleted my finger really nice jimping all the way up and down you could leave this in salt water for days nothing's going to happen to it very sharp knife but just wanted to do a little comparison of all these warrior knives or hunting knives, survival knives, fishing knives. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, I don't know if this is a new open tag. I think I will release it on Wednesday. Maybe everybody will show there. Warriors, come out to play! <laughs> Very cool. Hopefully, my buddy will sell it to me at uh, not not too much more than this originally went for. I don't really see him on eBay at all, but I think I'd rather have this than a normal one nineteen for sure. Thank you very much for joining me, everybody. You guys have a fantastic stay day. Stay sharp, take chances, be kind.